with other, with other believers and witnesses in the world. Uh, kayo ba, Church? Sa punto ng buhay niyo ngayon, paano, paano niyo ba, na, paano ba kayo natutungo sa bawat believers? Or, or you just you just pretend that everything is well and good? Or, but deep inside you, you are broke. Nung ginawa ko yung ano yung topic na to, ang daming ang daming dumating sa sarili ko. Ang daming kong tanong na dapat pala yun ang gagawin ko kung paano maging fellowshiping to other believers. Uh, when we said fellowshiping to the other believers, uh, it's just uh, spending time to other but in us in a social not only in the social interaction but on also in the social, especially in the spiritual interaction. So, church, why we need to engage uh, fellowshipping to other believers? Because it is instructed by us by God. And John 13 says, uh, John 13, 34 to 35 says, A new command I give you, love one another as I love you, as I love you. So we must love one another by this. Everyone will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. We are all need encouragement, especially during difficult times of our lives Amen. through our walk to Jesus Christ. Uh, when we learn God is everything, when we learn God, siyempre, sa kanya lahat natin, yan, no, diba? So, but important is as a Christian, we all, all need an outlet to ease that burden, burdens para ma-applic ka. And it will not drag you into uh, self-pity. Kasi nangyari yun, nangyari yun sa akin before and I thank God. Kasi He uses an instrument na, na magsasabi sa akin na you are the poorest person in this world if you pity yourself. And good Christian will help us also on all things we do. Uh, if uh, it rebuke us something, uh, something we, we did something wrong. Para sa ano? Then in Proverbs 19:30 says, "Listen to the advice and accept instruction, and in the end, you will be wise." If your relationship with the cool believers na masasabi mong okay, tama, lang, okay na siya, you can go out to the group and, and if you are group there, you can read it now to witness to the world. This is the fourth discipline, which is witnessing the world, to the world. And have you ever asked yourselves why we should need to witness to others? we can be able to glorify our God. In John 15, 8 says, This is my Father's glory that you, mer you bear much fruit, showing you are my disciples. Um, if our selves experience the undying love that he give, he give us, he will please also if we introduce to others. Also, sharing your, your faith is a direct command from Jesus Christ. Uh, in Matthew 14, 9 says, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Uh, people without Christ are lost. So, kailangan natin i-share kung ano mang nalaman natin dito sa loob. Then, in John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Uh, God wants us to witness because of the benefits he offered to those who will receive Jesus Christ. Then we will begin to experience the peace and love, love of God, and most especially the internal life. So by abiding Christ and put Christ the center of our lives, uh, we will be become very much fruit. Uh, it's when we say in Galatians 5, 22 to 23, fruit of the Holy Spirit. 
spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. It will come up to you naturally if you abide Christ. So, then all of this discipline, all of the four disciplines, which is the living the word, praying, faith, fellowshiping with other believers, witnessing to the world, it will lead us to five ministries. So, and, and uh, living the word, it leads us to ministry of preaching. Then praying in faith, it leads us to ministry of worship or interse intercession. Then fellowshiping with other believers, uh, it leads us to the ministry of nurture. And the other one is witnessing to the world, uh, leads us to the ministry of evangelism. And fellowshipping and to other believers and witnesses, it leads us, nakikita niyo yun sa ano? Sa our Hindi na naga. Nakikita niyo to? Sa ano? Ito yung ano? <laughs> uh, ministry of service because it reaches out to the others. To the others. So, dapat, ano siya, we have a goal that we need to achieve why we need to learn all of this, all the disciple cross. Um, in 2 Timothy 2.21, dito, maano na ito, nandito sa ano harapan, ito yung goal, pinaka-goal natin. If a man cleans him, cleanses himself from the latter, he will become an instrument for noble purposes with holy, useful to the master and prepare to do any good works. So, through this cross, we can measure our lives at masasabi natin na, yes, I am a disciple, or there are some areas that I need to work on so that I will be better disciple of his and can be a real disciple in him. Thank you. Before we'll continue, 